I'm fed up with the, with the Taylor Swift thing, bro. Like, I was fed up last week. I'm really fed up this week. And, like, the NFL, I feel this is going to marketing. Like, I don't know if y'all seen the banner on the NFL Twitter. It's Taylor yeah. Swift in the background. And I'm like, okay, what are we doing here? Like, I get it. She's Taylor Swift. I think the NFL has, like, 21 million Instagram fat, uh, followers, and she got, like, 297 million Instagram followers. I get it. You're trying to bring other demographics to the game, but please get off your knees. Like that's just really what I want to say here. Uh, there's too many shots of her. And now there is a rumor out here. Now, you know me, I get hit y'all with the Marvel room. There's a rumor that she was with Ryan uh, Reynolds and Hugh Jackman because she's going to be in Deadpool three. That's what I heard. And that's why they was in the same, uh, Press box yesterday because that was a random pairing. I was like, what, what's oh, Wolverine and Deadpool. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't want to see her in that either. Friends. Please don't ruin that movie because I like that movie. She's friends with his wife. I do know that, but that is pretty random. You're absolutely correct. Yeah, yeah. she's. I wonder uh, if Beyonce were dating like Lamar Jackson or someone comparable, would the reaction be the same? That's a good question. This is why I say that it don't even have to be Lamar Jackson. If Jay Z and Beyonce actually went to more football games, I mean, look in the Super Bowl. When even when Jay Z comes, we, we got video of him throwing balls to, to Blue Ivy on the field, like doing pregame. Like I love Hope. I don't care about that. Like so, I feel like if for 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 massive stars, it does do that. But what I think they're trying to do, which is nasty business, they're trying to do the power couple thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which we don't care about. And not only that, uh, she was dating like a a right wing racist before this, so she's yep, trying, trying to scrub to that. Image up. She's trying to <laughs> scrub that from everybody's memory. So no, you're not low, Taylor. I see you. Oh, that? not only is she right. not low. Did you see the perfectly timed Pfizer commercial with Travis Kelsey? Oh In yeah. The with words the... of uh, shout out my man Cash, shout out to Bang. Everything is a work. Everything is a work. This, I know it work when I see one. Like you know, nobody, nobody meet your mama that quick. You know what I'm saying? When she up there with the Ke- with, with Donna Kelsey. Honestly, I'm tired of the entire Kelsey family. I don't want to see his mama up there with Jake from State Farm. Why I care about that for? Like, it, it's, it's, just, it's just this pointless coverage. Like, this I knew when we were losing our way as Americans last night. When in the middle of this highly contested game, I got Chris Collinsworth breaking down relationship dynamics and Chris NFC, NBC HD. What are we doing? Like, I, I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm ready for the chapter where they, they, the Chiefs lose a couple games and they start blaming Taylor. Because I feel like that needs to happen so we can get rid of this white woman and we can get back to talking football. I'm tired of I'm tired of the random shots of, uh, of Sansa Stark, Sophie Turner, because, you know, her nigga won't let us see her kids, whatever they got going on. Just give me my football. That, 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 that's all I want. Just give me my football, dog. But, I like Brittany Mahomes right now. Oh, Brittany Mahomes. Oh, she looked like, miserable. Oh. Yeah, she looked miserable. She looked oh, miserable. I, I, there's only y'all really not. Know she's white the woman. most popular. Hey, right. She's not yeah. the star in the room now, man. Yeah. Y'all not gonna spot. focus on me no more. She don't even be screaming. <laughs> you saw her sitting there looking crazy. I'm like, yeah. damn. Yeah, she she was sick. She she was sick, probably man. loving this, low key. <laughs> but uh, let, let's move on to the actual football play that happened in this game. Like I said, the Chiefs won 23 to 20. Uh, their offense looked shaky. And one thing I will take with this. I'm leaving out here with something. The even Matt Nagy will make Patrick Mahomes look shaky. I will take something. I will. I, I'm writing something when it comes to that criminal who should be in jail, not and not not coaching offense, uh, Matt Nagy. But my question to y'all is: This game looked like it was headed towards Blowout Boulevard, but Zach Wilson started to show some life. Our man Zach Wilson went 28 of 39. Um, he had uh 245 yards, two touchdowns. Now he had a very costly fumble at the end. But do you think that Zach Wilson is turning around or this is something just something he's performing because he knew Taylor Swift was up there and he wanted the ball out? What y'all think? Nigga, no. The end. <laughs> no, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no, nah, fam. Uh, no, that, this hey, is good night. They got it. Hey, Jets got a nice ass defense, man. That to me just showed me that how good the Jets defense is. And the you what you talked about as far as Pittsburgh. I mean, not Pittsburgh, excuse me, Philadelphia. That's the conversation we need to start having about the Chiefs. Now, I know Chiefs do this, then they win, and we be like, oh, everything is okay. I don't think this is that year, fam. I think some off. And the fact that they are so star-crazed with this Taylor Swift shit, that's even a bit confusing to me. 
this ain't first of all, this ain't even the city where we we should be having a Taylor Swift. It's Kansas City. Here, Kansas City. Kansas <laughs> City, no. And keep it a buck. Travis Kelsey ain't that person to be like, oh, these two together? Like, no. Ain't like she's dating no. grump. No. Look, T- Taylor Swift. Look, I, is Taylor Swift attractive to me? No. But she also ain't my demographic. That being said, when I look at Taylor Swift, she should be dating like a quarterback, not a tight end. All right? What quarterback she be, would she be dating? Hey, man. Justin shit. Herbert. Justin <laughs> Herbert, right? Justin Herbert. Got the flowing locks. Uh, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert. Not. Absolutely not. <laughs> right, not. Joe should pull up with that girl. Nah, man. Joe, Joe, Joe way too cool with a black woman, man. Don't, don't, don't do Joe. Joe, Joe, you big, he, dog. He, Joe gonna go get Kayla. Fuck you. Right, right, right. Trust girlfriend, wife. Yeah, Joe Burrow's fiance is white as fuck. Oh, no disrespect. No disrespect to white woman. My bad. Look, hey, hey. I don't want no smoke. Hey. This Travis Kelsey thing is proving what I've always said about interracial relationships anyway. When people say that they don't like interracial relationships, I say, no, that's bullshit. You hate the interracial relationship. You don't hate interracial relationships. Goddamn, Travis Kelsey got all black women mad as hell because it's like, yo, why are you over there with Taylor Swift? Because it's Taylor Swift, man. She's popular. She gets money. And I would like like, to respectfully speak on behalf of black women to say that I... I'm out on that one. Yo, well, I'm not brother. saying you. you know, how you got a buzz cut, but don't have weight. I'm not know. saying you, but it was an abundance yeah. of black women. It was yeah, an abundance of black it. women that when he they saw them two, they was like, oh, no, that's the white person you're going to take from why us? Why are you so it's, mad at the colonizers? Like, why is y'all, like, why y'all mad at that one? Bang on Twitter. Oh, hey, you can at me at J.R. Bang. I'll say it all day long. <laughs> if Brad Pitt... And Holly Berry was dating. Nobody would have an issue with that interracial relationship. But if Brad Pitt was dating Precious, you'd be like, oh, no. White people be like, oh, no, get the fuck up out of here. What's going on with this? Like, what's going on with this? If Holly Berry was dating, you no know, um, Jonah Hill, black folks. Oh, see, this bullshit I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But if it's a white person we like, oh, no, we don't give a fuck about that relationship. So it has to be a white person we like. For a Man, movie. ain't nobody 100%. give a fuck. Ain't nobody give a fuck that uh, Robin Thicke and Paula Patton was in a relationship. Y'all just was like, oh, man, he's singing that way because, shit, he got a black woman. You know what I'm saying? Muffin Robin yeah. Thicke yeah. was light-skinned, man. And then what did he do? He fucked it up, and we don't like him no more. Exactly <laughs> so, my point. So do black people as a whole like Tom Brady? What Tom Brady started getting with, like, Megan Thee Stallion? Yes, like black, black, yeah, so I know black Tom. people. I know black people. Shouts out to my man, Bula, who will say, that Tom Brady is the greatest white man on planet Earth. <laughs> let, let Tom Brady pop out with let how old is Tom Brady? Like forty let's I, I just name one. Let Tom let Tom Brady pop out with Regina with Regina um Hall. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Yes, Tom. Tom you're solidifying Tom that you're the Tom greatest Brady. white man ever. Tom Brady, Regina yes. Hall is hilarious. Right, and, and they're hilarious and shit too. No, Tom, what Brady. Tom Brady, Tom Brady with Megan Thee Stallion. Cause then look, it's like a, it's like a, you know Meg. She ain't messing with with Tori no more. She had that situation. Uh, you know Beyonce the night of her. Now you with yeah. the goat. You know what I'm saying? The streets gonna yeah. love that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Meg, that Meg, would be imagine crazy. Brady pulling up to Houston. Scott, remember yeah, what we remember the conversation on summer sessions? Who is that? Who is that person that will raise your profile? Jones. If Tom Brady pull up with Megan the Stallion, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. He's gonna be at front row at the BT Hip Hop Awards, which is <laughs> next week. Imagine Tom Brady front row. All of the monologues and the jokes be like, oh, hey y'all, guess who's here with us tonight? Tom Brady. Tom Brady. And motherfucker be a standing ovation. <laughs> Every rip. Every rip. He would be a very long show. Very yeah. long show. Go see Tom I like to thank God. Is Jay Prince with the with the, yeah. the hey, out. Man, I would like to thank God for allowing me to win this award. I'd like to thank my team. Oh shit. I just won an award in front of Tom Brady. Man, Megan. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Damn right, uh, that's what happened. You're gonna see Megan in the box at, at Raiders games. Man. That would be, that would be hilarious, man. That would be hilarious. <laughs> 
she go she go light the fire. She gonna light the fire at the stadium and twerk at the same time and shit. Mm. Motherfucker, goddamn Joe Buck be like, oh well. Um, and we have rapper Megan the Stallion here. Stallion. Troy Aikman gonna say something. Well, you know, Joe, I think it's the Stallion. Uh, <laughs> we have to make that correction here. <laughs> Yeah, you right, Joe Buck doing Bongos, that. Bongos yeah. will be playing at the every touchdown before it go to commercial break and shit. <laughs> you know, start uh, Courtney, playing we, Megan uh, B sides. Are we off off base here? Are you yeah. speaking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, I uh, as when as far as with Tom Brady and Megan the yeah, Stallion, do, do, do you agree that 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 you know that was is that a white person that uh the black woman delegation would approve of if, if, um, if she got with Meg? I mean, that's mad random. I, I it don't is know. Random. I feel like I feel like maybe the respectability politics conservative black folk may not approve of him dating such a a sultry black woman. I feel like sultry. It has to be- I like that word. Sultry is a nice word. It is a nice very, word. I, that's a very VH1 soul word. I like sultry. <laughs> um, I feel like you would have to be somebody maybe a little bit more buttoned up, you know, for, for people to get behind. Like when George Clooney got with that with that lawyer chick, everybody was like, oh, yeah, we could, we could all get behind that. You know, because it's like, oh, she's accomplished in her own right. She's got her own thing. So I feel like, like if Tom Brady in a hypothetical world got with Beyonce... Oh my God! Oh, Tom Brady and Beyonce. Brady. Leave home the for Tom world Brady. would end. Yeah, the world would end because that now that's when black folks would be mad. Now black folks would be mad that black men would be angry. Oh, you let you left Jay Z to go fuck with Tom Brady. <laughs> oh man, they be burning up. all <laughs> types of Beyonce. Not a level up? Yes. For, look, white people will be like, damn, how Tom Brady get Beyonce? Niggas will be like, the fuck up out of MSU. You, you going to leave Jay-Z for this nigga? Yeah. For this and nigga? Then, then, then oh, you, start, Black, you start Civil War Part 3. Courtney, all of the podcast episodes that would be created and take yeah. place. We'd have to oh cut my God! Words, man. Every every rela- black relationship podcast is going to start off with this conversation. It's, this is, it's easily a fifty minute conversation on Joe Budden. Yeah, <laughs> man, <laughs> easily. Derek Jackson to be back with a whole new podcast off of this episode. If if Beyonce and and Tom Brady somehow end up dating, oh, That's see right. the pictures at the Met Gala. That would be my Roman Empire. To Tom, Tom Brady, no, or, or, or I got another one. We're going to wrap this up when we go to baseball coverage. Or what if you got, like, you can't watch the left homeboy. You can't watch the type. You know what I'm saying? You say you need somebody more, you know, you know, I don't want to say presentable. That sounds terrible. But you know what I mean. Like, like more, 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 more suit and tie. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would be something that, that, that we could see. But that would well, be Kerry Washington? Yeah, Kerry Washington. Not nah, oh Kerry Washington and Tom Brady, that's manageable. Yeah, exactly. it won't be nobody shaking the table. She's <laughs> like about all. Nami. Yeah, but I'm I mean you brought up Jay-Z and Beyonce, you might as well break well, up two I, I, did, I, I did not do that. I did not do that. I was trying to talk Kerry about Zach Washington. Wilson. Y'all y'all did Kerry that. Washington was that <laughs> him. Hey. Dante, like, can we get back to football? But Kerry Washington, Kerry but Washington was dating Zach the white Wilson. dude. But Carrie Washington was dating the black, the white dude that was the president on that show she was on. He kind of looked like Tom Brady too. So yeah, that would work. This is our uh, reel for the week, one hundred percent. I'm definitely getting this conversation chopped up for the reel. Uh, let, let's move.